all welcome to the show welcome to the rodney petty real estate show it is april the 20th and we are here bringing you some great market information we're going to be bringing you some great international news there are a lot of events going on as you know we are coming to you live from new york city and again we're going to be bringing you some great local uh, market information u.s information and we're going to be covering some international events so let me get right into it i want to get right into it i'm going to be moving fast today we we are pressed for time and we're going to bullet point a lot of things so what are we dealing with today we are dealing with what is in the news so i'm going to get right into it and get into what you people are seeing and what you're hearing on television and pretty much this is what you're seeing on television right now you're hearing these rumors i'm going to explain to you what's going on on the international front over in china right now you're hearing these reports you're seeing it on instagram you're seeing it on facebook you're seeing it on some media outlets you're hearing that the Chinese government are, are kicking out, making people homeless. They are taking African people and they are stripping them of their business, taking them of their passports. People, this is an international event. This is all because of a trade war. China is deep in a trade war with several countries at this time and they are in a serious conflict with the a lot of the african uh, uh nations and right now the africans that are in africa they are catching hell because china the the gig is up they are putting them in a position where they're taking their passports we have boots on the ground we are getting this direct information. This is not rumor. This is not gossip. This is, we have boots on the ground. Today's show, you're going to see a lot of information where we have boots on the ground. So I'm going to go through a couple of pictures, and this is what you're seeing in a lot of media. You're seeing people, and let me tell you, Africa is the new China. China is heavy embedded in africa they have made a lot of deals i want to go to some of these pictures this goes back to a lot of african leadership the chinese have gone over to africa africa is a very resourceful whether it's gold minerals africa is the new china if they would have kept doing business you would have seen instead of made in china you would have seen made in africa because they are getting heavy into import and export the chinese went in and they put up they put themselves in a position where they got boots on the ground in africa and they made a lot of deals with african leadership and this is what you see going on i want you to understand when you see this this is what's going on it is a trade war it is got nothing to do with africans and chinese getting together having children that's all bs it's got nothing to do with a crime wave it's got nothing to do with drugs on that level this is all about a trade war and a lot of the african leadership have put themselves in a position where they didn't see where china was coming from okay they did not see this coming. And now the Africans are being put out of China because the time is up. They're making their move. This is some could be some controversial information. Go and look at the maps and see how much China is in Nigeria and, and Egypt and all these other places. They are heavy in these places. And what is it? What's what's going on? It's creating violence. You see violence right here on the doorstep. In the USA, a lot of hate crimes against uh, Asian American people, Chinese American people. 
you're seeing this all over and you're going to see more not based on what i'm saying based on what's going on politically and what's going on in these different countries we're bringing you this type of information this morning you're watching the rodney petty real estate show i am your host rodney g petty and we are talking about what is in the news we got boots on the ground and we know what's going on we talking to the right people so i'm going to go back and go through some of these pictures and this is what's going on they've made deals with the africans they have boots on the ground industrial gold silver they're doing all kind of mining all kind of all kind of uh, minerals all kind of wealth it's coming right out of africa and it's going to china this is what's going on in china so when you see this you know what's going on and don't forget you saw it first right here on the rodney g petty real estate show and this is what's going on this is what's causing the panic over there with a lot of the african and you know in the united states a lot of the black americans and caribbean people support the people over in africa so you know i'm seeing by their posts people are getting very upset about these world events we got boots on the ground we're going to go into another segment of the show where we got boots on the ground right here in the united states this is a video that i shot and i want to say this on each segment of my show feel free to call me my number is 347-299-1480 if you have any information pertaining to anything that i say on today's show give me a call again you are watching the rodney g petty real estate show so let me go into this next video where i want to show you where we got boots on the ground where we were out and about and here's this video here i'm gonna bring it up to you here i want to take this video down i want to take this photo down showing you the the chinese and the africans and, and their conflict that they're having right now i want to thank a lot of people that uh came to me and brought this information to me just give me one second i want to take this and i want to take this down and i want to bring this up and this is a video where we actually had boots on the ground right here in new york city and let me put this up boots on the ground this is what you're going to get from your host rodney g petty and this is us with the boots on the ground this is a re a report for those of you in london that reached out to me those of you doing dubai that reached out to me that wanted to know what's really going on in new york check out this video Manhattan, ghost town. We're just walking through. Got our gear on. Wear your protective gear. You're on the job. Wherever you are in the city, wear your protective gear. It's not a joke. You want to protect yourself at all times. Shit, it's still in the city. It's airborne. Don't let nobody tell you that it's not. This shit is airborne. It's your guy, Rodney G, NYC. Some people jogging, most people wearing their mask. I'm gonna go solo screen. 40, East 44th Street. You can see the Empire State Building. Ghost down. the Duffy statue NYC during the pandemic Saturday night 2020 <coughs> excuse me <coughs> ghost town NYPD and enforce five or six sector cars no traffic
Okay, this is 46 and Broadway, the famous square here. And as you see, it's a ghost town. Saturday night, New York City. It's a ghost town. State police is out here. Ghost town. And it's 42nd Street. Grand Central Terminal. See, it's mad empty. Forty second and Park Avenue. See all these commercial buildings. Ghost Town. Boots on the ground. Rodney G. If I can leave this place with a smile on my face. The meek shall inherit the earth. I give up everything. That's what the Bible. I want to bring you some more information. I'm going to bring up something here. What I want from you and with this video that I'm getting ready to show you, I want you to be informed. I don't want you to be afraid. I want you to be informed. This is a video that I put together this morning based off of numerous sources of information. This is the real estate report uh, information. This is a market information. I'm going to start this video and then I'm going to explain. For those of you that are homeowners in the USA, you know we are in a recession at this time. Be informed. Know where you are. We're going to set some numbers on this screen and we're going to show you some numbers so you can fully understand what possibly could go on today, Wednesday, Friday, or even next week. I don't want to scare you. I don't want to put out no propaganda information. These are projections. I want you to be informed. It's not about me selling real estate at this moment. It's all about keeping you, my past and current clients, keeping you informed. So let's take a look at this video. This is the projections, the value, 35% projections of property value falling here in the United States. That puts you at, if you have an $800,000 home and a 35% decrease in your of the value of the home, which is 280, that would put your property at 560. That would put you in the red. This is what is possible for those of you that want a private consultation. My number is 347 299 1480. This is a no BS assessment that I can give you as a plan for you to plan in the very near future. We need to know what's going on. You need to be informed. You don't need to be afraid. If you're in your home and you're paying your mortgage, don't worry about the value. Live in your home and enjoy your home. The market, we are going to bust our ass to get this market back up and running. Shout out to all the salespeople and all the people that are working hard to bring all these things. Again, we got boots on the ground. I'm going to go to the next, the next segment of our show. And again, we are moving fast. That was the market report. 35%, 35% projections. 35%. Let's pray they get this market open. I want to bring up a very uh, touchy issue. And this is the Michigan Florida. I'm going to touch on our fellow Americans in Michigan and Florida. I want to bring up a picture here. This was a protest in Michigan. And I got to say this, Michigan, here in New York, we went through a lot and we're going through a lot. Our numbers are down. Our numbers are down. Okay. 
They came out to the Capitol in Michigan, heavily armed, protesting. They want America to open back up. But the message that you're sending with the use of the firearm, I don't think it's a, I don't think it's a good message. We know, we know we strapped here in America, man. We know that we are gun people here. And I'm an advocate, uh, uh, I believe in the Second Amendment. But the message that you're sending, it sends out a lot of mixed messages. The firearm, get the firearm off the scene. A lot of the local law enforcement, they're getting the wrong idea. The federal government, this is just my opinion and my message to you. Be safe out there. Do your protests and use your safeguarding. This coronavirus, this coronavirus is real. There are thousands of people, a lot of New Yorkers, a lot of New Yorkers lost their lives here, man. We praying for them. It's been rough. It's been a rough time. And we've been going to work and we've been doing our part. And that's what we are, we've been up to here in, in, um, in New York, man. So shout out to our fellow Americans and the way they are protesting. I just wanted to give you my little spiel on it. We're going to come right back to you right after this commercial break. And we're going to end the show with two segments. This has been your host, Rodney G. Oh, we're going to come back here. We're going to finish off the show. I want to give some uh, a, a special shout out to all the people that's been in helping out. And I want to bring this video up. This is a video that I picked up from one of the local hospitals. I want to bring it up. This was a report that came out this morning. I want you to hear. I want you to hear and see what's going on in the hospitals. This is, a, again, this is a special report with us with our boots on the ground. This is from one of the city hospitals. Not a city hospital, but this is from one of the hospitals. And here's the information here. Hold on. Okay. So go ahead and it's 17th of April, 2020. And it's exactly 6.42 right now. And a couple days ago, this place was like hell. Like, it was crazy. A lot of patients, like, you can't even have stretchers for them. But today, look, there's empty stretchers. No patients, zero patients in the emergency room right now. God is good. And this was the COVID, this is COVID world. Like, and now, look, there's no patients, zero patients. Thank you, doctors. Thank you, nurses. Thank you, PCTs, housekeepers, everybody that was here to have the patient. Mm. We thank you so much. <clears throat> God is good. God has oh, got it. God is doing it. And he's going to do what he keeps doing it. Jesus. Thank you so much. Thank all the workers. Thank doctors. Thank everybody. We are so and this is my last piece here shout out to the uh, first responders all throughout the city from the security personnel all the way up to the nurses and doctors we want to thank everybody that's been a part of uh, new york's recovery shout out to the first responders i'm going to bring this up I'm going to bring this down. You've been watching the Rodney Petty Real Estate Show. And again, thank you. Thank you for watching. And thank you for supporting our show here. You know, this is our real estate channel, but we're bringing you today world events, world news. And uh, that's what we're doing here today. So let's see if we can close the show out with some 
shout outs to the first responders and all the work you guys have been doing. Keep up the good work. HPD, keep up the good work where you're at. This has been your host, Rodney G. Start spreading the news I'm leaving today I want to be a part of it New York, New York These vagabond shoes Are longing to stray Right through the very heart of it New York, New York I want to wake up in a city that doesn't sleep And find I'm king of the hill Top of the heap These little town blues are melting away I'll make a brand new start of it in old New York if I can 